It's gonna be the last flight of the Logo 480. I'm gonna sell it. I don't fly the 500s and under right now a lot. Started with the uh, Started with the uh, Diablo 600 and TDF 700 now, so. Just haven't been flying these anymore. I have to fly far out in this yard. So. Really nice heli though, solid. And yes, it's been crashed. I dropped it in that the planty, whatever the hell area you want to call it. Broken one set of blades. That's really all that happened. I have replaced the clutch one way in the main shaft because it kept slipping twice. Don't know what the heck it was about. It would work in my hands. It would not. Otherwise, it would slip all the time. But it's been solid sense, so everything is smooth and awesome. Uh, you know, uh, it's a fun little heli. Cool size. It's only a 480, but um, bike's pretty big. It's really windy out and it's doing well. And uh, let's see, it's running the uh, Savox Servos, Savoy, whatever they are. MKS Tail. Um, line 470 blades. Forgot what kind of rail carbon tails I forgot. Great shape. That's a good flying heli. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. Who knows? Helis don't sell well or fast, so. so sometimes they're just not worth selling. There's an airplane in the sky. Or you put it up, it stays up for months. It's got the uh, Scorpion motor, the Mikado, branded, stock. And the YGE, 90, uh, ESC. It's kind of what the combo kit comes with, basically, the whole thing. I'm not selling the brain with it, I run brain. I'm not doing that. This heli, you can fly for quite a while. It's on a 3300 pack. Pretty planted, no tail wag, no bullshit. It's really windy, so. I'm not gonna be able to keep it in one spot right now, in this area. It's a cool looking heli, man. It's louder than you think. I put the Mod 7 gears. Um, it's just all I had when I bought this from the guy you used. I had like a couple teeth missing on the gear. You know, it would make that tick, tick, tick. It drove me nuts. So I just used the uh, five, uh, 550 SX gears. They're stronger too, so never had a problem with them. Don't ever think I will. One's good with a new one way. It's frustrating because that's how I broke the blades that one crash. Landed in that tree there. And yeah, they were uh, 
They were freewheeling, all right. VTX too, so it really sucks. I don't know though. I don't. I don't feel any difference. And I actually, I, I love the way this thing flies right now. It's an excellent medium-sized heli. I really like it. I'm only running one Spectrum satellite on the side. So it's got a lot of carbon shadowing, but I'm flying, you can see there, 300 feet out. Uh, never had a problem, so. A one receiver, one pack bird that performs like this and flies this long. Pretty amazing. Easy on and off canopy, durable skids. I've bounced it pretty hard when I had that clutch go out. One time it didn't hit a tree, it just hit the ground. That's all that happened. The more I talk about it, the more I'm talking to myself into keeping the damn thing. Dead calm with the bugs, man, the bugs. It's a video I did yesterday with a 16 minute TDF flight. I think I'll get seven to nine minutes at this head speed. I don't even know what head speed it's at. I don't even know what governor I'm running. Running the, uh, the uh, YGE or the beast or the brain, I don't remember. That tree, I've hit that tree before with my line. It sucks, got stuck in there. Whew. Some cold ass wind. Holding really steady, hands off in the wind. Maybe I should practice some more side in. Well, I'm gonna put it in, I'm cold. So you can do this one as mild to wild. Simple, simple construction. Camping comes on easy, off and on easy. And kind of got a really good canopy, it's thick. It's just nice. The magnets in back. It's just nice. Alright, enjoy.